this is your comfort zone. But if you want to grow and achieve great things, you need to be over there in the Lego pill party, way outside your comfort zone. So how are you going to get there? Hello and welcome to another Mic Drop Monday where I give you a little truth bomb to help you work smarter and harder on your week ahead and hopefully go on to achieve your goals and build the business and life of your dreams. So this week I'm talking all about our comfort zones because who isn't comfortable in their comfort zone? But if you've ever read anything about growth and success then you will know that all the great things that you can achieve happen outside of your comfort zone but it's really easy to remain within our own boundaries. Our comfort zone, it's our safe place, it's what we know. So imagine this, my little Lego pearl is your comfort zone and it's nice and it's safe and it's pretty and you know everything around it. But over there, with the cool pool party, that's where the good stuff's happening. But you need to get from there to there. So here's a few things you can do to try and step outside of your comfort zone. Take the first step. Just do a simple, tiny thing. Little thing, so if you're in business and you're trying to grow your business, then doing this, making a video, can be really hard and it's really daunting for some people. But actually, just try. Even if you just record a little video on your phone that nobody else ever sees, it's taken the first step. Then perhaps try doing a little Instagram story or a Snapchat story. Just take little baby steps. But so long as you're taking the first steps on that road to getting outside of your comfort zone, and then soon enough, you'll feel more comfortable outside of your comfort zone. Another thing to try is to put yourself in new environments. So perhaps go to a place you've never been before. Say for example, if you always go out for dinner on a Friday night and you always go for an Italian, why don't you go for a Chinese instead? Or go for an Indian? or go to a steakhouse, just go somewhere different, put yourself in a new environment, go to somewhere you've never been before. When you're planning your holidays, I'm really guilty of this, I go to the same places all the time, and it's because I like those places, but then sometimes I go to a new place, now and again I go to a new place, and then I go, I really like this new place, and that becomes another comfort zone. But constantly trying new environments and putting yourself into new places can bring you a whole new experiences, and again, take you outside of your comfort zone, and that's where the good stuff is. Learn to make quick decisions. So very often we may have an idea to do something. It might be in our personal life that we want to travel to somewhere, go to a different restaurant for dinner, or you might be in our business and we come up with a really good idea of how we can expand or a new product we want to do, or a new service we want to offer. And then we dwell on making the decision to start for far too long and then we don't start. So if you have an idea, something pops in your head and you're really, you know, it sort of sparks that desire in you to want to do it, then start it. Make a decision. So if you have a new service that you come up with for your business, create the web page. Like just create something that makes you start on the process of being able to offer that service. After a week or so, after you sort of thought it through and strategized it a little bit and perhaps a little mind map and all those kind of things, and you might have said, you know what, that was actually a really crap idea. But at least you explored it. You didn't put it on the back burner and think about it for a month and then you see someone else doing it, you lose all momentum to do it and you think, I wish I'd have done that. Just take the first step. Another thing that so many of us are really guilty of is not saying yes to opportunities. So very often, people may ask you to do something, ask you if you want to go somewhere or something may present itself and we might think I'm not ready to do that, especially in business and we'll go, I don't quite know if I'm ready to do that, um, I don't know if I've got the capability to take on that task, I don't know if I have the skills to be able to offer that service. So we say no, really we should be saying yes and then figure it out because if you let the opportunity go then there's no going back from that. You, you can't get that opportunity back. But if you say yes, and you figure it out, you don't know where that's gonna take you. Yes, it's gonna take you outside your comfort zone, but you don't know what opportunities could come from that. So say yes to the opportunities that come along. Likewise, say no as well. When something doesn't feel right, especially in business, we are really guilty of this, that you know you need to pay the bills, you need to pay the staff, the rent needs paying, all those things. 
and jobs come along and you go, yes, and you take it because you need the money. And then you find out you're working with a client from hell. And you think, why on earth did I ever take this contract? This is like hell on earth working with them. You haven't slept this nights, they're making you depressed. The work is ridiculous. So if something doesn't feel right, if something gives you an icky feeling, if a client's bad, don't take the job. Just don't take it. It's not worth the hassle in the end. And then the last one, do something you're afraid of. So I'm not saying like they start jumping out of planes and things like that. Like, you know, let's keep, <laughs> let's keep this real. But sometimes be, you can be afraid of something really small, like asking someone for something. Like, Another one, like this is, you know, we do it so much in business that we're afraid to send that email. We're afraid to ask for what we want. We're afraid to say to somebody, hey, I can help you with that. Here's what I can do. Here's how much I charge. That is like a really big barrier for a lot of people in business to get over. So perhaps do something every day, a tiny little thing. Send an email, make a phone call, connect with someone. Just do something that kind of makes you feel a little bit scared. Like, you know, we don't need to take this to extremes. Let's not go climbing any mountains here or like, you know, jumping out of planes and all those kind of really scary things. Let's just keep it realistic. So just do a tiny little thing every day that you are afraid of that is perhaps putting a little block up for you. Take the little step and see where it's gonna take you. Thank you for watching this Match Up Monday. I hope you found it useful. I'm going to challenge you now and I want you to leave something in the comments that you are going to do this week to take yourself outside of your comfort zone. Pop it in the comments then you can hold yourself accountable to it and let me know how you get on. Be sure to go and follow all my other social media channels, subscribe, give it a like and I will speak to you next week.